And thank you for stopping by. This is Sporky News Podcast, and I'm Scott, and I'm glad you're here. And I don't know why I have a weird face because I'm staring at myself, and it looks really weird right now. But anyways, so thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time, I really appreciate it. If you're one of my new 20 subs or any of the subs I've had from day one, which I've had a few, thank you so much for subbing. This channel is not going to grow without your help. Um, as you've heard other YouTubers say, you. YouTube has changed their algorithm to, to like really help the tech and large corporations. So little channels like mine really can't get the ground going unless we get this grassroots. So please share, like, you know, tweet, sub. Please get your friends to sub, everybody sub. I'm trying to get up to 200. Uh, this is like my sixth week, week of doing this. So I'm really hoping I can get 200 before my seventh week, but that's only a couple of days. Let's see what happens. All right. But thanks again. Share, like, sub. Let's get on to this. Um... So there is a couple little things going on today in the world of Star Wars. Sorry for that pause. I blanked on what I was going to talk about. Um, and I am checking out an article from Wired, okay? And it's like their culture wrap-up. I don't know what they call it. It's like the monitor. But I'm ripping them off. So I'm ripping them off to give you people what you deserve. Content, not much, you know, production value, but me. That's what you're here for, me. Um, so... They talk about Bob, Bob Iger. I don't know if anybody heard Bob Iger did respond to like the Mar Martin Scorsese's and the Francis Ford Coppola's of the world who pretty much just shit, excuse my language, all over uh, Marvel films saying like, you know, with those being pumped out the way they are, it's like an attraction at an amusement park and that little smaller movies don't have a chance to, you know, hit the movie theaters. And they have a point. These are starting to turn into cookie cutter things. Um, you know, Endgame looked like it was going to, or excuse me, uh, Infinity War, I thought was going to change the game. And then you got, you know, Endgame and uh, Far From Home. And it just turned back to kind of just, you know, Miss Marvel type crap. Just they need to up the value again and make us believe that they really care about uh, different stories, in-depth stories, characters, and not just the, you know, the, 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 politics that we've been shoved down our throat uh, with Captain Marvel and things of that nature, if you know what I mean. So Bob Iger responds, and I quote from Wired, who quoted him saying, I reserve the word despicable, I guess that's what Scorsese said, for someone who has committed mass murder, Iger said at the Wall Street Journal Tech Live conference. These are movies. But he added that if, quote, they want to bitch about movies, it's certainly their right. You know what, man? They have a right to bitch. We have a right to bitch. Everyone has a right to bitch. But I really would love to hear what this guy Iger says. I mean, he doesn't hold back. He tells us what he thinks about George Lucas, that he was pretty much a punk that he got over on. So, you know, I would like to hear more from this guy because I, I personally think Disney is just a crazy um, Wild West type of company where people are doing whatever they want. They're doing what they want at Lucas Films. They're doing what they want at Marvel. And he has no control over the reins. So we'll see what happens. Um, but that's pretty much all they got about that. And then the other thing. So we were getting forced down our throat from, I think it was Adam.com, that um, ticket sales for Rise of Star uh, Skywalker was beating out Endgame. Well, new, uh, new things are saying. There's new stuff. So the remains to be seen. According to Adam Tickets, the movie came in shy of beating first day sales of Avengers Endgame. Even though before people like... Uh, Mecca um, and Jeremy and the fourth wave, which I'm on every Friday night, uh, live streaming with some great guys, um, author Stephen Wallen and Final Death Star and Bear, 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 Nerd Fun and um, Mike and just a couple other guys that jump in and out. So, sorry, I had to plug that. Um, they and us... And we were talking about this. Um, and if you'd like to see that, I'll try to link that live one below. But there's a, some type of too much of a connection between Adam.com and Disney. Uh, some backhanded things where we're starting to find some allegedly dirty stuff going around the corner to make Disney look like it's more profitable, profitable than it really is. So I'm going to link that live stream we had. Uh, for you guys to check out, please check out, hit a like. That's on author Stephen Walton's uh, page. The guy is awesome. He just wrote a book, okay? Phantom Menace, uh, volume one. 
you got to check it out. I think he's going to put that out there. It's going to be a signed copy, I believe. Please support content creators. Um, we just put ourselves out there, man. You know, our heart and soul out with this stuff. We don't do this. I mean, yeah, we joke around. We have fun. I'm way better on lives, bouncing off of people. But I do this because I really enjoy it. I like getting the message out there. I like people knowing what's going on. And I like my views being heard. And there's not many platforms left to do that. So YouTube, I do thank you for that. I just hope you help me grow. So uh, other than that, I didn't really have much to talk about uh, except for the one other th big news with Star Wars was the leaks, how Star Wars took down, um, they did a copyright infringement on a YouTube channel. Okay, so I'll set the scene. The YouTube channel um, had a... A, a video up about leaked images uh, from a Reddit post. Okay. And they're supposed to be of the, the last uh, Skywalker, the rise of Skywalker, whatever it's called. Um, who cares really by now who really does care, but they had, they had that. So what um, I guess someone manually, this wasn't an algorithm thing. This was a manual copyright like block from star Wars from Lucas films because Pretty much right there, they say, boom, you got us. We don't want this content out because it's going to tell too much. So spoiler here, I'm giving you two seconds. One of the pictures shows Kylo and Ray with lightsabers next to each other, looking like they're attacking someone else, but both of them have blue lightsabers. So is that Ben Solo back? It sounds like they're doing that redemption thing that a lot of the leaked scripts we heard are saying. So that guy... Okay, is uh, his website was da, 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 da. I don't know off the top of my head, but I will put it in there somewhere because um, I don't have that link anymore with me. So, okay, sorry, dude, but I'll try to find the video that he explains it about because I did watch it and I'll put it in there. God, I'm really good at this. So once again, thank you guys. Thank you to Mary Mayhem for having me on her live stream last night. I gained 20 subs from that. That was awesome. And one night, that's big for me, man. I'm up to like 173 and that's because of you guys and I really appreciate it. So please, grassroots, help me. Pass this along. Share it. Tweet it. Get your mom. Get your dad. Your grandma. She doesn't even have to watch me. She could be like, who's on the magic box? I don't care. Just send them my way, man, because I want to grow. I want to get my voice out there. I want to get better production. I want to get this better for you. I want to be able to edit a little bit so I don't you know, do this. Um, but thank you guys. And remember, if they start calling you names, they've already lost the war. Peace.